G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So I said I wasn't going to vlog today, but it's Angela's birthday. She's not going to be part of this, is she? Um, we've got a little bit of an emergency, so I thought I'd film it. And she's going to be my film crew today, so that way we're doing something together on her birthday, you know? Vlogging together. But she doesn't want to be on the camera for some reason. Why don't you want to be on the camera, babe? Nah, one day guys, I'll get her to be part of the channel. Um, I'll show you what's wrong. <sighs> Alright, so graphic scenes here guys. Um, TPS has decided to attack the Green Texas. Um, I don't think it's duck lip. I know we've been through this before with Charles, but um, if you look at the, like, the lacerations there, and there's a laceration on his head, that's definitely from her attacking him. Um, I don't know why he has, she has attacked him. She lived with, with um, Elsa for like six months straight. Um, so I already had an idea in my head, but we're going to go with it. I'm actually going to take Charles Jr. female out of this tank because she just hides the whole time. He's an absolute dick to her. Um, I'm going to put TPS back in here, but I'm going to put the divider in. We're definitely not going to put them straight together. Um, I'm going to use 10,000 suction cups because this guy pushes it over. But I definitely think there's no, there's no worry for bacteria or anything. He's, he's not, he's got no infection there. I don't know, he's a bit rough guys. I'm a bit drawn, taken back by how quick she's turned on him. Bloody flower horns, they're a pain in the bum. I'm actually, I don't know what to do. I bet you if I pulled that girl out of there and put her in one of these dividers, by herself she would lay straight away. Which is quite frustrating because he's just making it a hard situation for her. He's having a bit of a scratch. Um, let me have a think about it for two secs and I'll decide what I'm going to do. Alright guys, I've changed the plan. So, he's going to go over here. This is my magical medicine basket. Um, you guys can't really see the light, but that's the outlet for the pond from the filter. And whenever I have sick fish, I put them in this basket or in one of these baskets with the flow pointing at them. And they seem to come back to health miraculously. The most recent survival of the medical tubs is actually this girl here which I probably might not be able to catch um, can you see on her side there there's still a mark and she was probably 50 to 60 percent fungus and that was only like two weeks ago and she's come back so this is the best spot for him. I haven't made a decision. We've got water on the screen. I haven't made a decision on what to do here with the girls. I think TPS isn't going to lay for at least two weeks. So I think throwing TPS in right now would probably be a rash decision. I might find a home for TPS and I do want that four foot tank for something. All right, let's get TPS out. All right, this might be a mission. So what is a bad idea, guys, is putting four foot tanks sideways next to the roof. It makes, she made a liar of me, but I was about to say it makes it very hard to catch fish. Alright, I haven't actually figured out a home for her yet.
Maybe we'll just do a straight swap see. You ready? Alright, so she's going in the five foot for now. Try to get her out without all those spun bits. I really wish she didn't fade because she would have been a real. Well, she still is nice, but I'm not a huge fan of girls when they half fade. It's like all or nothing, please. So we're going to swap her for this little guy here. Um. So this can do two things. Um, so this guy, this is my number one keeper from the back. So he's going to get a four foot. Let's see how he parties in there. What do you guys reckon? Should I throw a girl in with him? It's probably a bit risky, but do we risk it for the biscuit? Nah, I don't know. I think a girl might attack him because he's so young. I'll leave him in there by himself for now and um, we'll see how that goes. I think that's about it, guys. So the idea of putting her in the five foot, her female bits, whatever floating around in the water there. Uh, what do you call it? Hormones. Hopefully might make these boys pop a bit. I guess we'll find out. I think I've picked the right fish to put by himself. Who knows? We're gonna find out that. Alright, if you like this video guys, give a thumbs up. Sorry it's only a short one. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button and I'll keep you up to date on how the Texas does. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.